Pretty much everything you do with your body involves weight transfer from one foot to the other. And the better you can balance, the more precise and responsive you can be in those movements. Which pays off in your hiking, surfing, martial arts, pretty much any time you're not sitting on the couch with half a bag of Doritos in your lap. Today I'm going to cover three moves to help you improve your balance and stay in control. We're going to cover the Patrick isometric hold, we're going to cover the front to the back scale, and single leg hops. Let's get into it. And I want to say before we begin, if possible, do all of these movements barefoot. It's really going to help because it's going to strengthen the foot and allow you to really get better at gripping the floor, which is going to help you to balance. Now, Patrick isometric hold. You might be familiar with the Patrick step up. What we're going to do is simply hold that in position but I add a little something in there. So we're gonna start off, in this case my left foot is forward. I'm gonna open my foot out to the side just slightly. I'm gonna bring my knee over my toes. I'm gonna to square up my hips. I'm gonna take my opposite foot and bring it forward, locking out the leg, pulling the toes back. This is where things change a bit. I'm gonna bring my chest up and pull my hips forward, further loading this base leg. Now, I'm just going to hang out here. What I'm after is this nice straight line. And if you want to further load this position, then all you need to do is bend your knee. But I want you to keep your hips pulled forward, chest is up. What this does is it really forces your feet to grip the floor, to fight, to keep you in position. Now, this is the first order of business, is being able to get good and practice that position. Of course, we want to do both sides. So same thing, opposite foot, open up the foot a little bit, knees, or pardon me, knee over the toes, hip square, leg extended, toes pulled back, chest up, hips forward, nice straight line. We're going to hold this position, okay? Once you're able to do this, now's where the fun begins. We're going to close our eyes. By closing your eyes, it really forces you to work hard and you're going to find that you're probably going to fall out of it. Hey, that's fine. Go back and try it again. The better you can get at holding this position with your eyes closed, the better your body is going to be in terms of having the strength and the mobility and control to help you with your balance. So once again, get into this position, this Patrick isometric hold. Get into a position, practice this with your eyes open. Get really good at this and then work at closing your eyes and fight. Hold that position, work on being able to do that for longer periods of time. All right, next up we have the front to back scale. This is different from the first position in that we're locking out our base leg. We're gonna start this time, left leg is forward. Our toes are pointing forward. We lock out this leg, square up the hips, chest is up, nice straight line. This leg is now straight out in front of us as well, and we raise the front leg. I don't want you to worry too much about pulling the leg very high. In the beginning, keep it low. Hang out here. This is where we wanna be. Hips forward, chest up, base leg straight, extended leg straight, arms out to the side. Once you're very comfortable and you're like, hey, I got this, no problem. We're gonna start moving to the back scale where you simply pull your leg behind, that's it. Hold this for a bit, keeping this base leg straight. Then you're gonna come back to the front, hold this, making sure the base leg is straight. Nice, solid position. Work up to being able to do that. Work for like a minute, going back and forth between the positions. Make sure that you do the opposite leg as well. And just like what we did with that first movement, the Patrick isometric hold, from here, I can start closing my eyes. And I start off with just the standard front scale position, and I close my eyes, and I work on improving my balance here. Then I can work on going to the back scale and back to the front scale. Once again, do that with your eyes closed. <laughs> this is quite challenging, because what's happened is now we're putting things into motion. It's really gonna test your body. It's gonna give you some great feedback. And it's gonna be interesting, I think, because you're gonna find that what you thought might have been quite easy turns into a very challenging movement. All right, so our final movement is a single leg hop. Before we do that, I just want you to practice a standard jump real quick. 
The reason that we're doing this is I want you to focus on the landing. Now, I'm not going to be able to jump very high, so don't think about that. And that's not really the key thing here. It's how are you landing? You want to land as quietly as possible because that is in turn actually going to be the proper position and you'll naturally get into that position which will be midfoot landing. So as you jump in the air and land, try and make it quiet. You'll notice that my heels are still off the ground slightly, midfoot. This is the landing that we're after, okay? So first understand that. Now we can look at the single leg hop. Now, I say hop because we're actually going to put this into motion, but for right now, in motion in terms of going forward, for right now it's just going to be a standard jump. And so with one leg, you're going to jump in the air and try and catch yourself. Now, did you fall out of it? If you did, then there's a chance that you're actually not squatting down as much as you need to in order to catch yourself. And that's a little trick. If you find that you're just doing this and falling, then go into the squat deeper. This is gonna allow for better balance. You know what we can add to this, right? We can close our eyes and do it. Close your eyes, jump up, catch yourself. You might find you fall out of it. Say, oh man, what's going on? You play with it. You explore that movement and really it's just a matter of having fun. Next, what we can do is actually jump forward. This is the last one that you're gonna do here. And this is just a single leg hop forward. This is it, just hopping forward. Are you able to land in balance? And are you able to do that in both sides? And that's it. This is how you can explore. But again, I suggest doing this barefoot. It's gonna give great feedback to your feet. It's gonna force the toes, the bottoms of the feet to work harder, get strong. And of course, you can close your eyes and practice that as well. All right, so those are just three movements, variations of those movements that you can play around with. You know, don't think of reps and sets and things like that. Explore, just have fun. You know, do this as maybe a warm up for your workout. Do it with your kids, whatever, doesn't matter. Enjoy, explore, leave a comment, let me know what you think.